Hi there and welcome to the 58th Octoprint on Air. I'm your host Gina Heuske, there's still no B in that name and well you might notice that thin things look slightly differently uh, behind me than usual because well this is a quite unusual Octoprint on Air. I'm recording this while on vacation pretty much, like we are maybe 500 meters or so from my uh, holiday apartment right now, right in the middle of nature, uh, on, a, on, a, on a peninsula, on, uh, right on the edge of the North Sea. There is, a, there is a small river behind me and there's a ton of mosquitoes in the air as well, so you might get some fun moments here where I'm trying to not get eaten up by them. But yeah, I figured it might be a nice um, change um, of things to, to just record um, the whole thing from here. Uh, and so here we are. Um, things will also be a bit different th uh, than usual uh, uh, with regards to the content. Because since I'm here, I'm not sitting on my, on my PC, as you can see. I only have my phone here with my notes, uh, with, with the stuff that I want to talk about. Um, and so we will not look at the stats this time and I will also try to hold it a bit short because I hear some thunder right now and I, I would, would prefer to do this without getting rained on and uh, yeah, finding myself in the thunderstorm. So uh, still, uh, the, basically the short outline uh, of what we're going to talk about today will be what I've been up to since the last one of these and also what the next steps will be. And uh, what I've been up to well, I already mentioned the word stats and yeah, so you might have, if, if you watched the last one, uh, you already know, ho hopefully know that there was a stats manipulation discovered pretty much during recording the last one. So I noticed something was up there with uh, a whole bunch of 172 version Octoprint instances, which looked very weird because they were the majority suddenly. And that made me look into things more and more and more. And after I recorded this, I then found out that there had been some manipulation going on. Like uh, someone was creating thousands of fake instances that reported that they were running Octoprint, uh, Octo Everywhere, the plugin. And um, that ought to everywhere also looked into that and they assured me that it was someone from their community that wants to stay anonymous who did this but of course it meant several tens of thousands of instances that were fake that were reporting ancient versions uh, that were in the stats and while I was cleaning all of that up and looking further into things into the data that was still going in I noticed some more weird things happening and that was when I noticed that there were also several thousands of instances reporting to run um, Obico plugin, the Obico plugin with with yeah with with version numbers that looked okay-ish, with environment information that looked a bit weird here and there, but overall okay-ish. And so I got in touch with Obico and showed them my my. Um, yeah, my, 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 my facts that I collected from all of the uh, data that I w looked into from, from one single IP that was creating all of these instances and uh, yeah, they came forward and they said that it was them because they thought that Octo Everywhere was manipulating the stats and instead of talking with me about that and uh, allowing me to investigate or something, they just figured, hey, they would be manipulating things as well. So. That was fun. Um, so the result of that was that uh, the past two years I had been looking at several thousands, several tens of thousands of instances of Octoprint instances that were fake, that were reporting ancient versions, ancient Python versions, PyPI, uh, no, not PyPI, um, PIP versions, um, Octopi versions, Octoprint versions even. And um, I was basing my um, I was basically ma basing my decisions on, on 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 that data, and that of course sucks. Um, and um, yeah, so basically, one of my most vital tools to make the best decisions that I can on how to use the time that 
the development time that is available for Octoprint, which means me working full time on it uh, because I am the only one working full time on it and I'm also the main, the main developer, the main maintainer, the only maintainer basically and the main developer. Um, so the tool that I use in order to, to, to figure out how best to use the time, to use the eight hours per day available to me for work uh, was was manipulated and that of course sorry that was a bird um, and that of course sucked and still sucks if I'm honest so every time every single time that I think about that I still get very 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 angry as you can imagine um, it cost me two weeks over two weeks uh, just yeah discovering this stuff collecting facts in order to yeah, to be to really have proof before I even approached uh, who I thought was possibly responsible for stuff. Cleaning up all of the fake instances from the data, of course, that that took ages. Writing scripts to even figure out some of these things and, and collecting proofs and such. So yeah, that was basically over two weeks that just were were lost. Uh, for 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 taking care of this manipulation stuff, and um, I'm just really glad that I did not um, that I did not base any major decisions on those numbers. Like for example, we cannot stop supporting version 3.7 because I don't know Python 3.7 because 80% of people are still running them. I, it came close to that actually, but uh, thankfully we did not come. Uh, into that situation and now um, I'm in a better situation now uh, after removing all of that and, and hopefully the data is now hard again and usable again and something that I can depend on again but um, it still doesn't change that over the past two years I spent a lot of time supporting environments that were outdated that were ancient that simply did not actually see the use that I saw that I thought they were seeing so a whole bunch of development time lost there that I will never get back, that you all will never get back, thanks to that manipulation. And um, yeah, needless to say, I'm still incredibly angry at all of that. Um, I actually invoiced both Octo Everywhere and Obico for at least for the two days each that it cost me to clean up the mess that was created in their name. As I said, Octo Everywhere claims it was a third party who did this. I have proof neither I, I neither have proof for or against this, so I'm just rolling with what they told me and repeating this here. Uh, Obico came 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 clear and said it was indeed them. So yeah, I invoiced them. They paid the invoices, but still it it sucks. Um, and I mean, I talked about the actual actual time that was lost on all of that let's also not forget about the emotional cost because the emotional impact of all of this because I trusted these people and um, I never did expect something like this to happen and it ruined at least one friendship so yeah that sucks um, so that was really not a good time and as I said, I still get extremely angry and disappointed whenever I have to think about this or talk about that, just like right now. Which is also why I thought maybe I should just tackle this here, sitting in nature, sitting right in the middle of everything being green and hearing crickets and birds and the wind and everything, because I figured, okay, at least the environment I'm sitting in is relaxing, <laughs> even if the topic is not so... Well, okay, so that was pretty much most of what I did during regular office hours since the last time that we talked. Uh, I also went for a week to uh, to Prague for uh, Europython. That was fun. Met a bunch of people that I so far had only met uh, online or chatted with online, which was pretty amazing to finally just hang out in person. Uh, I also learned a bunch. I, I chatted about a, a bunch of very really interesting stories. I also caused a lot of head, sh head shaking when I when I told people about the manipulation, um, and yeah. But yeah, overall it was a really really nice event, and yeah, the end was a bit 
bad for me because my flight got cancelled and I got moved over for one at 6 a.m. in the morning on the next day and that was a bit of an additional stress that I really did not need after all of this other stuff. But yeah, I managed. I, I got home in peace and uh, in one piece and uh, in the end survived. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, so the, t the past two weeks now I've actually been here, or not two weeks, but I think we are at 1.5 weeks now or something. It's Wednesday, uh, August 7th as I'm recording that. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I drove up here with my partner. Uh, we've been spending the time cycling, and walking a lot. Uh, we, we rented some e-bikes, so I've, I've doing my best to just get everything work-related off my mind for once. And uh, yeah, we are also gaming a lot, uh, which is fun. Um, we just finished... Um, what was it called again? Little Hope the day before and Fort Solis the week, last week and are currently hoping that we will be able to finish House of Ashes before uh, we have to drive home again. But yeah, in all in all, it's, it's, it's doing a lot to get my head clear again and recharge my batteries, which was really, really needed after all of this. Like, I wasn't this exhausted in a while. I know I say this every summer, but uh, this time it, it really, like, yeah. I know how, how, how burnout feels when it starts and that was way too close for comfort. So uh, I hope that once I'm back, I can keep the good vibes of this place here with me and um, get, a, get a more positive few on work again as well because yeah I really need to do something that is fun again with Octoprint because the last weeks before the vacation certainly weren't anything were anything but fun they were just like a lot of suck and uh, yeah so I hope I'll be able to just tackle the one or other cool feature or something like that after my vacation to just get some good vibes again there as well and then I think things will improve after all as well. Um, yeah, so what are the next steps? Um, first of all, some more, more days of rest here until the end of the week. Uh, keeping the feet up, playing some more games. We will have to return the bikes tomorrow, but still we will um, use them a bit more until then as well, I hope, unless it's raining uh, but even then we have rain, uh, rain uh, cloths and such, so that would, should work. And after that, uh, yeah, I will continue working on 111.0. Uh, uh, first work has already gotten in there. Uh, I've also started work on some modernization stuff. Um, and now I will actually have to add some more of that to that because, yeah, I mean, some parts of the code haven't been touched in years, even though they should have, because I couldn't modernize thanks to having to support ancient outdated environments. Now it turns out I don't have to support them as much, so I will have to make some hard decisions on what support to, to stop. Like, for example, Python 3.7 has been uh, out of life now, or end of life now, since I think January. Um, it's still a major version that is being used by Octoprint instances out there, because that was the version that shipped with, I think, Octopi 018. Um, but uh, yeah, as I said, it is end of life and uh, more and more dependencies that I am using in Octoprint are dropping support for it. So I fear we will have to do some hard decisions in that regard soon. And um, my guess is that probably 1.11.0 will be the last version to support 3.7 and support will be dropped after that for 1.12 for, for then. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, that's something that I'll have to think some more uh, about, but uh, after my vacation. And uh, let me quickly check my notes here. Yeah, and I also have to check if there is anything that I can get rid of now that uh, it turned out that a bunch of these ancient instances were, were, were fake. Um, 
because I'm pretty sure that I have the one or other place in the code where I can optimize things a bit further, modernize things a bit further, um, now that I do not have to um, have to support all of this really, really ancient stuff anymore. Um, and some, 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 something, my God, English. English. Uh, something that I also still need to take care of is um, making sure something like that cannot happen, at, at least not that uh, much again in the future. Um, so set up some more monitoring on the stats intake, um, detect things that look weird and alert me about them. And that is also something that I talked about with some people at Europython on how to approach something like that. And I got some ideas now um, that might allow me to do a lot of that without having to set up a whole infrastructure for all of this and just working with some, 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 some custom code. But yeah, that is also something that I just need a headspace for in order to come up with it and look into it and um, do that. Like, yeah. I'm really sorry that so much development time is currently getting eaten up by the by, by, by this whole situation, but trust me, I hate it as much as you do. Um, I certainly do not want to keep things that open to manipulation as they were. I put way too much trust in um, yeah, basically in, in, in everyone in the community playing nice and um, now I saw that that was a mistake, sadly. I, I, I thought we were better than that, but apparently we aren't as a community. So I now have to look that things aren't as easy to manipulate as they were. And that is just as, the, as things are. Okay, now usually I would now be doing a quick look at the stats, but as I said, I can't. <laughs> And frankly, I also really do not want to look at the stats at the, in the moment. I'm, I'm just glad that I currently do not have to go through every single thing in there with a fine toothed fine tooth comb. Um, that's for next week. This week I'm not touching stats, but you can always take a look at them. Uh, you can find everything at data.octoprint.org. This is where um, I publish the graphs generated from the publicly available exports which you can also find on data.octoprint.org slash export. I think it's singular there. Maybe it's ex exports. I cannot look it up right now. You'll just try that. Um, and yeah, so if you want to look, if you want to know how many instances are out there right now or something like that, then just check out data.octoprint.org. And in the meantime, uh, yeah, I'll just, I just enjoy the calm and nature and stuff and mosquitoes and <laughs> birds and 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 crabs and worms in the in the Wadden Sea a bit more here um, until it's back in back back to the office next week and until the next one of these, which will happen in around a month, I, I guess. Uh, all I can say is yeah, happy printing, stay safe, stay healthy, and maybe enjoy what's left of summer as well and bye for now. <laughs>